Hi, Kieran Stone here. As per your request, I'm going to show you how I prepare my images for Instagram. And I'll use a landscape format image since landscape doesn't work too well on Instagram and show you that I tend to find a four to five vertical crop that suits the rest of the image and looks better just on the Instagram feed. So I'll use my crop tool and select four to five and just move it until I find somewhere that looks like a good representation of the whole image. Somewhere about there, press enter. Now I'm going to have to reduce the size because if I look at the size, control alt I, it's giving me 3000 pixels wide, which is too big. So I'm going to reduce it in steps in order to preserve some of the details and sharpening. And I'm going to do that as an action. So I only have to do it once. So I'm going to click new in actions and just call it Instagram. That'll do. And I'm going to first get rid of all my layers here by going to layer, flatten image. That way I've just got my background. And I'm going to reduce the size, so Control Alt I, down to about 1800, which is roughly two thirds more than Instagram's suggested size of 1080 pixels wide. And make sure that the dimensions are constrained. Click OK. And then going to duplicate my image, control J, just or my duplicate my background layer, just so I can work on a fresh layer. Go to filter, sharpen, and I'll just use sharpen. You can use whichever sharpening you like. It's just a matter of just maybe over sharpening a little bit just to preserve some details. So I'm just going to duplicate that layer again, do another set of sharpening. Uh, so it does look a bit over sharpened at the moment. So I might just reduce the opacity a little bit, maybe to about 50 on that second layer. Now I'm going to reduce it down to the size that I want. So Control Alt I, change it to 10, eight, oop, too big, to 1080. Click OK. And since it still looks maybe a little over sharpened again, I'm just going to select both layers, holding down shift, make them a group and just reduce the opacity a little bit. So somewhere around there. Now to add my watermark, I'm going to go to file, place embedded, choose my watermark image, place it, reduce the size, move it to the top middle, Press enter and change the opacity down just so it doesn't stand out too much. Now, because we've reduced the image a little bit, it's going to have removed some of the color and contrast. So I'm just going to choose vibrance, put the vibrance and saturation up only a little bit just to bring back some of that color in the image. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I can press stop now on my action. And if I go back to in my history to where I'd first crop the image. Now, if I just go to my actions, choose Instagram and press play, it'll resize it all, including adding my watermark and do all the sharpening and everything. So I can do that to any image after I've made it to this four by five crop. Next step is control alt shift or command option shift for a Mac S. Uh, I tend to select JPEG, very high, around 80 uh, quality. doesn't really need to be too much more. It's only Instagram. And because I work in Adobe RGB, convert it to sRGB and then save my image. Then I can either email it to myself, uh, use Google Drive or Dropbox just so I can download it on my phone and then upload it to Instagram. So you can do this with any other social media as well. Just have a look at what their pixel dimensions, their recommended pixel dimensions are, so on Facebook or 500px or anything else, and set it up as an action so you can resize and make it perfect for that particular platform. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, check out my other ones on my YouTube channel. Feel free to subscribe as well, and check out my website, kieranstone.com, for full edit tutorials and other cool images. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.